All right, another unboxing video, folks. So excited about this product. This is a should be a gigabyte motherboard, Airis uh, Gaming Three, I think Wi-Fi. So uh, these are actually pretty damn expensive, and kind of excited to have this one. I've got a, a Z370 version of this non-gaming one, and uh, you know the H3 is only negative about H370. The only negative about it versus the Z370 is it's not overclockable, so we'll have to find one of our chips that uh, doesn't end in a K to put on this one. But I am uh, definitely excited to have this because I have so many computers here, and I'm usually using these other devices, uh, Wi-Fi cards or uh, USB, um, like these USB Wi-Fis, which are dog slow. But uh, yeah, so we're going to uh, open it up and then I'm going to do a full review of the features. Uh, we're going to use the Panasonic FZ80 4K and hopefully I will switch over to um, macro so we can get real close to the motherboard. A lot of people check out these videos asking how many system fan headers does it have and you know all the questions they might ask me so i will try to answer that uh, via the video doing a real good job of getting close-ups and high quality uh, video for you all so i hope you appreciate that and uh, we will uh, let's get started all right so get my razor blade out So this is probably, uh, as far as what we have in stock here, probably the 12th or 13th motherboard I've got. I've gone through a lot of motherboards this year. Um, some of them I bought, sold, bought uh, for people's computers and uh, or that custom custom computers. So we uh, always get excited when we get a, a new one in to try out. All right, so. H370, Aeris Gaming 3 Wi-Fi, and we uh, can get, uh, I'm going to take a picture of the back of this and flash that on the screen for y'all, so hopefully you can see it better. This isn't the best angle. All right, so uh, like I said, has Wi-Fi, so hopefully that works, Intel CNVI which is uh, one of those things that the, the Z390s um, are a little more common for. But uh, not all those obviously have Wi-Fi. So what do we got here, folks? Before we tear into this, we've got a motherboard that will support 8th Gen Intel Core processors, right? Um, most likely, though, it's going to also support 9th Gen. All right, we'll do a not this video, but the next video, I'll go ahead and set this up because I'm going to build a computer uh, you taking advantage of this motherboard, and we're going to uh, put a 9th gen chip in it. So it's either going to be uh, the i3 9100, i3 9100F, or the i3 or i5 9400F. Um, saving my i5 9600K for the other. Aeros motherboard that I have that's a Z370 um, just to take advantage of the overclocking. So uh, CPU socket LGA 1151 and once again this H370 chipset. So we're going to have one um, PCI Express 16 slot and uh, PCI 3.0 by 4. This will have for display interface HDMI DVI dual dual channel DDR4 RAM so basically um, you have two of those and then the, uh, the two sets of the the RAM so four four total slots um, so this probably will support anywhere from 64 gigs or 128 uh, I have to look that up six SATA threes on this one all right Two M.2 
dot twos for SSD. So that's awesome. I thought this one only had one, but this actually says it has two. So that is a big bonus, folks. Um, 802.11 AC wireless. Okay, so we're the most current wireless. And you see, uh, we'll look at all the connectors, but a uh, bunch of different USBs, type C's in there. And so that is really awesome. Audio ALC 1220-VB. And this is a uh, full size, so it's an ATX motherboard. All right, so let's get it open. Sounds like some parts are falling around, moving around in there. So there is the uh, front, and you see uh, Intel chipset H370, core Intel core inside, and this does support Intel Optane as long as well as the RGB Fusion, uh, in case we did not say that. And this is a pretty damn good gaming motherboard, um, especially if you um, go with a processor like a... Uh, i7-9700 and don't get the K version. This is probably, uh, this could be the motherboard you want to get, or an i7-8700. So I'm not really going to screw around with the stuff that's in the in the box, um, unless I see something here. You guys don't really care about manuals, especially since I can't show you the whole manual. Um, cool things that are in here, though, that you guys, yeah, I love these G connectors. Um, they are sweet. Save time, hopefully. Um, and of course, you know, some uh, things that uh, you'll see later when I, I assemble this. Antennas, set of cables, um, the good old Aeris sticker, which I won't use. I'll put with the rest of them that I collect. And of course, the CD, and you will find the... Um, the other thing that is in here, or not showing, but would be in here, is your um, heat shield, okay? And uh, I thought this was actually on the motherboard. This is odd to see this, but here is the, uh, looks like a Wi-Fi card. I thought um, for sure the Wi-Fi would be, would actually be on the board. So that's going to be interesting, folks. Um I, you know, I usually build a lot cheaper computers, if you guys obviously watch the channel. And we kind of stay away from the really expensive motherboards. So, I'm going to learn, I'm going to learn some stuff as you guys do. But as, beyond the Wi-Fi, this should be very similar to um, the other boards that we have dealt with. Okay. So, folks, it is now time to uh, switch over to the other um, computer, and I'll let this one go off into the background. But we'll. Keep... All right, YouTubers. So, a lot of times I do the unboxing, and then I'll do an overview of the features. And this time I uh, did it originally. Everything was unplugged. And then I went back and looked at the footage, and I wasn't happy with uh, how some of it came out. Uh, especially, you know, getting familiar with the motherboard. So, as we move on, you may see this swap back and forth between having components installed and not having them installed. And uh, so I think this will give you a good idea of what, what it really looks like. In a, in a moment, I'll switch over to macro view so we can get real close uh, to the components and discuss what's in here. Uh, some of this is going to be difficult to see, hence why we will switch back and forth uh, between nothing installed and items installed. All right. All right, so let's get started. Um, obviously, we have our PCI Express uh, 3.0 by 16, the graphics card. This will uh, support a, an additional graphics card. In between there, you see one of the two M.2 slots that we have here. And then on the other side is actually a much longer one. Now, I don't have a, uh, I haven't been able to get that uh, 
connector out of the motherboard so that I could actually screw that in which uh, is kind of surprising <laughs> I broke out uh, these long nose uh, pliers here if you can see them needle nose and I did not make that thing budge so but that said we'll eventually put another one in there and we'll have dual um, M.2 NVMe SSDs in here. Now obviously to the left of that you've got where your CPU is. This is a H370 so it's a non-overclockable motherboard and at the moment I've just got the Intel uh, CPU fan sitting on top of it. Of course that's what it looks like with the uh, CPU connector or the excuse me the CPU fan connector that one's connected over here you have your four dim slots for RAM right now I've only got eight gigabytes in there and I haven't actually looked at the manual for this uh, sometimes you'll find that you have to put either your first RAM in one of these the second or fourth slots uh, for it to successfully work in this case I went ahead and just put it in that second slot just in case alright so uh, system fan here I believe we've already counted these up and got four system fans here's another system fan back here here is your 24 pin connector from your power supply okay that's from the power supply to the motherboard next to that is our USB 3.0 which I don't have plugged in but since you're here let's go ahead and plug that in and hopefully not break any pins so you want to make sure that that notch is lined up with the other side and so there's our USB 3.0 and that is from the uh, front of the case alright so it's kinda of hard to swap this around so maybe we'll edit in the other video but there's your six SATA, excuse me, six USB, excuse me, six SATA 3 connectors right there, all right? Well, that was a mouthful there. Now over here, already connected, and we'll uh, swap back and forth between what it looks like with and without, but there are your, uh, from your case, your hard drive light, your hard drive LED, your power LED, your reset switch, and your power switch. And then the speaker connector is there. Okay, so another um, system fan. That one assists fan two. Bunch of other connectors that we're not gonna use. We're not gonna talk about them. Now, additional front USBs. So somewhere around here, we probably have, um, well, I guess we won't worry about that one, folks. All right, moving down. And then um, there is your audio, which we have connected. So one of the highlights of this thing is the fact that it is a, uh, has the Wi-Fi, okay? So... One thing that's kind of questionable is, you know, do you go buy a Wi-Fi card, PCI Express, or buy one of these motherboards that has it? Because uh, in the end, it, it's so it's so similar to just going out and buying one. This has a separate little slot right there. Now, if you were to go buy a uh, separate PCI Express card, so let's say you bought a cheaper uh, motherboard, you buy something like this and you know basically you are ending up with kind of the same thing you're using a slot one of your uh, slots on the back of the case and then this has the nice little antenna that you've got to find a spot for versus the other ones that have the uh, screw-in antennas uh, so that's something to think about you could just buy the cheaper gigabyte gaming 3 motherboard versus uh, you know spending more to have that feature and uh, somewhere in here hidden 
There is a uh, another front USB. There it is right there. There's another front USB 3.0 there. So I believe if you have one of those modules uh, coming from your case, you can plug it in there for an additional one. So that about wraps up the features of this motherboard. And I hope you got something out of it between having things connected and not connected. Now one thing we did fail to, to mention is over here you have your um, 2 times 4 basically 8 pin uh, 12 volt connector for the CPU that goes from your power supply. All right, And so now that we've got a couple things connected here um, some of the USBs are connected. There's your DVI dual, HDMI, USB 3.0's, um, I think Gen 2 3.0, and then a Type C, which is awesome. Ethernet, more USB 2.0's, and all your different audio connectors, including microphone and headphone, uh, plus some special ones in there. Alright, so that about sums this up, folks. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.